Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode number 32 of my YouTube tutorials from SPSS. Today we're gonna have another look at ANOVA. Last episode we took a look at the one-way ANOVA and in this and the next episode we're gonna take a look at the univariate ANOVA. Today it will be about only two variables, being one independent and being one dependent variable. In the next episode I will do another univariate ANOVA but then with two independent variables and only one dependent variable. And in the two episodes afterwards, I'm going to do a multivariate ANOVA, also known as the MANOVA, with uh, both times two dependents, and once with an independent, and twice with a, twice with, uh, and once with two independents. So this is kind of the schedule for the next episodes. If this video is helpful to you in any way, shape, or form, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Every bit of support would be hugely appreciated. So we're going to go to our data sets. And it consists of, uh, for all of these four videos, it consists of four videos being gender, which has only two, fair, which has only two values being men and women, so male and female. And it's about going to a church. And the length, uh, the, uh, the second independent variable is the length of how long you have been going to this church. So I have been going to this church since, and then there are four categories. That, that you have been going to that church since birth, uh, since you changed churches, and a later age, or that you don't belong to a church. Those are the four groups which we're going to compare in the ANOVA every time. So today we're going to take a look at uh, the different groups of length, uh, simply length from now on, and whether they differ in their religious commit, uh, in their to uh, in their religious commitment. So do they uh, do the groups vary? Do they significantly differ from each other? So you go to Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate. And as the dependent variable, you select, in this case, Religious, com uh, religious Commitment 1. And the fixed vectors, so the groups which we're going to compare, is going to be the length groups. Model and Contrast and Plots you can leave as this. But at Postdoc, you want to select the independent variable. And then you can select either LSD, Bonferroni, or Chuki. In this case, I'm going to select LSD. Then we press continue. Then you can go to EM means. And over there you select the independent variable again and compare main effects. And in this case, LSD again. Say if you leave as it is, we're not going to bootstrap today. And if you go to options, you select the descriptive statistics, the estimates of effect size, the observed power, the parameter estimates, and most importantly, the homogeneity test. And then you press continue. Then you press paste, and if you then go to your syntax, you'll see a new code for the univariate ANOVA, which you uh, select the code of, and then press the big green play button, run selection. If you then go to your output screen, then you will get all the tables from the univariate ANOVA. At first you get the respondents, the amount of respondents for each, uh, for each group, and we can see that uh, from the four church groups, there are far more respondents in uh, group number one. But even group number three and four have about 40 and 50 respondents, which is okay. Then you can see what the mean is of those four groups in religious commitment. We can see that group number two, so the, the group which changed churches, has a highest level of religious commitment. While group number four, those we don't belong to a church, have the lowest level of commitment. And this makes sense. But we want to know whether the, the, these groups significantly differ from each other. That's why we're doing an ANOVA. First, you've got to take a look at the Levine's test of equality of error variances. And you're going to look at the highest line based on mean and then at the significance level. And in this case, the significant level should be higher than 0.05. Normally, we're looking for uh, anything lower than 0.05. That, that, that is a good thing. But with the Levine's test, as well as the box test, you want it to be higher than 0.05. Otherwise, your, uh, your uh, further results are not really reliable. But in this case, it's 0.541, which is perfect. So you can say that you've met the Levine's test requirements. And then we can take a look at the most important, uh, at the most important table, which is the test of sub between subject effects. And if we then take a look at the length line, we can see that the significance level is 0 0.001, which is smaller than the alpha of 0 0.05. So we can say that there is at least one significant difference 
between those groups. So uh, probably groups 2 and 4 differ significantly, but we don't know which ones yet. But this is the most important, uh, these are the most important uh, uh, values. The F value, its, significant, its significance level being uh, 0.001, and the partial ETA squared. And the partial ETA squared explains what percentage of the variance in the dependent variable is caused by the independent variables. This sounds kind of vague, but if you, trans if you translate it and use an example, the variance in, uh, in religious commitment, religious commitment differ uh, has a certain variance, and 0.9% is explained of that variance by the independent variable being length, so not a lot. So you can't really say that the variance of the dependent variable really relies on this independent variable. And then we want to know well, which groups exactly differ significantly. And we can go to pairwise comparisons. You can see that, for example, group 2 and group 4 di uh, uh, differ very significantly from each other. Group 1 and group 2 also differ significantly from each other. A little bit less, but still very significant because it's smaller than 0.05. Group 1 and group 3 don't differ significantly because the, the, their significance level of the difference is only 0.778. Well, in this case, you can uh, take a look at all the uh, at all the uh, different differences and get the values you need. But overall, the uh, the groups differ significantly from each other with an F level of 5.763 and a significance level of 0 0.001 and a partial ETA squared of 0 0.009. Those are the most important values. So this is how you do an univariate ANOVA with one dependent variable and one independent variable. I hope that this was helpful. If it was, then please leave a like and comment. It's a small, small favor, but you helped me a lot. And I'll see you guys for another episode very soon. Bye.